Back in 1907, a man named Leo Bakeland took phenol and formaldehyde, yeah, the same stuff schools use to preserve dead frogs, and cooked them together. And then, boom, Bakelite was born, the world's first fully synthetic plastic. Fast forward a bit, and here comes Wallace Carruthers and his team, a bunch of absolute geniuses who invented an even stronger, more flexible plastic. How? By combining molecules called monomers, hexomethyldiamine, and adipic acid. The result? Nylon fibers. That's right. Strong, stretchable, practically magical fibers. And humanity, of course, went, awesome, let's wrap everything in it. Food, toys, your grandma's sofa, even water. Now, a century later, dinosaurs never got to see plastic. But your great-great-grandpa's very first toothbrush? Still alive. Probably chilling in a landfill, maybe tanning on a beach in Bali, or living its best life as microplastic inside your sushi. We created a material so indestructible, even cockroaches look at it and go, damn, respect, what a forever immortal garbage. So, in the end, humanity wanted cheap convenience. And instead, we invented forever trash.